Copilot can understand and analyze all images. Let me show you. So let me minimize this. I downloaded the course materials to the vision lesson. You can find those in the description below. Let's first start with this IMG. Here we have a broken toilet and imagine that we are now a facility manager that needs to describe things we see in our daily work. Usually we have to do this either by handwriting, yuck, or typing it in in some system. We can just upload the image, click add an image. Here you will say upload from this device or take a photo. I will just go to my desktop where the folder is, double click, take the image, say open. I can choose to be creative, balanced or precise. Here I need to be more precise, so I pick that one, but you can easily pick one of the other styles. Now we say I'm a facility manager. I need to create a case based on the damage shown below. Analyze the image and provide me with the following information, each on its own row in the table, colon, shift, enter. Then we say, now I just say what do I want in that table? And I was on to say insert today's date regardless of the image. So I want just today's date, even though the image might have been taken like one year ago. Shift enter, then I want room type. And these are just my preferences as a facility manager. And we can of course, now let me just finish this. We can of course describe anything from any image. I'll give you a few more use cases in one minute. Let's just have a degree of damage. We can also have affected installations. Shift enter, it will do these line breaks without sending the prompt. So I'll have the possible solution and I will have the material requirements. So here, oh, let's just click enter, use cases where we can use this. Imagine that you're going to create alt textus, that is description of images from websites, which is, by the way, a demand from the European Union. If you have a public company there, then you need to do it. We can do it with Copilot now. I also know that an insurance company uses these capabilities to look at the damage on a car to see if it's a large or small damage. It might not, might not um, seem like a lot, but if you can automate some part of the process, it's, uh, it's better than having a 100% manual process. Here we have it. So the date is to date, April the 3rd, that is indeed right. We have a bathroom. The description of the damage is the wall above the toilet is heavily damaged with a large, large hole and debris fallen onto the toilet and floor. The damage is severe and all the other things are well. I can even edit it in Excel. So if I click here, that will open up an Excel with all the damages and the details. If I go back here, I can even say output to a JSON instead. A JSON is a way of transferring data that we developers use a lot. Then it will transfer this table and then it will create a JSON, which I can use in an API call. Now we get really technical, but it's just a way of saying that we can have the output just as we want. You can also have Copilot helping us be our interior designer. Let me minimize this again. Double click the office PNG. My office is a little bit old. Granted, it's not my office, but let's say that we want interior help with uh, the design here. So let's go back to Copilot, have a new topic, upload an image. Again, we just do as before. And this is literally just using our own words again. Provide a brief description of the interior design in this image. This could actually be an alt text, so that could be it. And then we can also say, how can I improve this? And then we will 
uh, have Copilot to interpret the image, describe it, and tell us how we can improve it. What we can do yet is to have it um, where we say update the interior design and edit the image uh, with the updated design. What we can do is say that we can get inspiration images and stuff like that. But the other thing, it will still take like half a year, I believe, before that comes to Copilot. Again, it takes a little bit of time, but it, this is so nice. I used to, I, I still do develop automations with other tools where it took a long time interpreting images. It wasn't even possible and it was inaccurate. Now with this, it is 100% uh, accurate. You should never say that, 99%. Um, but it's much, much better than it used to be. And the uh, development and the speed of development in this, uh, that's so, so fast. So while it does that, let me just show you the last case and second last case. We also want to solve this equation just by using Copilot. And finally, we have some receipts like this that we want to take the data out of and into, for example, the table so we can... Um, have that one book kept. So again, here we are analyzing the images. It also says that the privacy blur um, hides faces from Copilot, so you can use it with humans. Maybe that's good. Here we have the description. Seems fine to me. High ceilings and large windows allowing natural light. We can declutter modern elements, flooring, plants, lighting, and much more. Let's jump to the equation because now we can get help. So I say new topic. I will say add an image, upload from this device, solve for X. So here I just give the prompt. I can just say solve for X and enter. Now it will solve for this. And if you're a little mad at it, then yes, you will know what the answer is here. I challenge you to solve this quicker than Copilot. No cheating. Um, let me know if you do so. But it's also a way to learn things. If you have a school book or your kid have a school book, you can take images of the assignments, get the answer. That might not be the best use case because that might be cheating and you don't learn a lot, but you can get explanations like here. So it takes you through, says first simplify the equation, subtract four uh, from both sides and then X is equal to four. Very impressive. Let's also say new topic here. Let's add an image, upload from this device, go into receipts, click open. Now we uploaded the first one. Then I'll say extract the following information from the attached receipt. And again, shift enter, I want a date, I want a description of subjects, I want a fat tax, then I want currency and total. Some of these might not be available. That's fine and it will just uh, tell us. And this is so, so nice because now I can just automatically take the data out and I can even have a table in the end, where I can easily put it into a finance system, either as an Excel table or a CSV table or whatever my finance system needs or a JSON like we did in the beginning. So what we will do here is to, uh, while we wait, we can copy this prompt. I could either do this or click copy here just. And then we go down here. We cannot send it before this prompt is done, but I can control V, paste it in because once this is done, I want to upload an image more. We can do all three. I think we'll just do two because this uh, takes a little bit of time uh, in working. Sure, here's the information extracted from the receipt. It's from 2016. It's two mean time pale and the total is 170. We can check it in two seconds. First, we'll just do this. And we can check while it works on the second one. So I'll say add an image, upload from this device. And I think this one is the most challenging. This is too perfect. You can easily try that at home. Just download the course materials. So now I do this and we can check this. It says that it was two mean time pale and 1020, for example. So here and here it says that uh, two mean time pale, 1020. It says that the tax was 170. That was right. 
the date was 2016, February the 26th. Um, we have that one here, and it's British pound sterling. So this is, uh, yeah, so, so impressive. I'm still blown away. This is using uh, OCR technology, where it's not a part of the language model copilot itself. It uses uh, Python to um, do this. So copilot generates the Python script under the shelf, and then Python extract this using OCR. Believe me, I used, uh, tried to use this a lot in a lot of my automation solutions, OCR, and it was also always quite inaccurate, or you, actually you needed to build some checks, which we clearly don't need here. Here it says that the date is not visible, and that's nice. It don't guess on a date, it's just say it's not there. Then it says double whopper, no pickles, uh, heavy mayo, blah, blah, blah. So let's, I know we only did two, but you can easily do the last one yourself or do more. So here I can say sum up everything about the two receipts or just the receipts in a table. Then it combined these two things into a table. And imagine that uh, we should do this manually, then this will take a lot of time. Here we have it. So we have two mean time pails and the 1020, VAT tax, and we didn't have here, that was from Burger King and this was from Clacken. So that's how awesome Vision in Copilot is. Your next lesson is right here. You should go click it and learn more Copilot.